Day 26, heading into Big Bear. Everybody in the campsite's doing the same thing. Uh, we hear tale of giant, giant pancakes at a specific place, so I think that's where everyone's kind of headed. I've had breakfast, a little breakfast, but um, I'm always excited for second breakfast. Uh, we will spend the night there, so it's a Nero day in. Get the hiker chores done. I think I've said this. There you have it. Let's go see what Big Bear's about. Oh, it's a nice place. Getting close. Is this already the road? This can't be the road. <coughs> I mean, everybody was flying today. I've got pancakes on the brain, but this can't be the road already. Maybe. This isn't already the road, is it? Hmm. Deaf. This isn't already the road, is it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. We were cooking this morning. Wow. That pound food rockets on my boots. All right. Good things, all good things. Everyone's ordering the right things. Derek's isn't here yet because he ordered nonsense that they have to figure out how to make some sort of spinach, artichoke, bean sprout thing. Here, here's some of his toast. Gross. Resupply. Got resupply all done. This is our hostel. Comes with a Burmese mountain dog. It was a very good boy. Wonder if he'll just roll over for the belly rubs. Oh, what a good boy. Said it before. It's always a good day when you get to meet a new dog. Hiker chores are all done. Resupply is done. Laundry's done. We're clean. We're headed to dinner. Hopefully, we'll see some stuff. Big Bear's pretty cool. Day 27. Still in Big Bear. It's 9 a.m. We're heading out about an hour and a half. Breakfast at the hostel didn't look good, so we went out. And uh, hey, here's Ben and Jerry's. Too early for ice cream? No. Um, so we went out, had cinnamon roll, French toast, and bacon. It's much better. Heading back to the hostel, get everything together. Got a ride coming to take us back to the trail, 10.30, and off we go. Winter time, this place is hopping. Okay, it's 11:30. Obviously, we've been back on trail for a little bit. Um, I just want to show you that video. Or, just video. I want to show you the view. Look. Uh, I don't know where we're going, but I'll tell you later. Look at it. It's a good view. Yeah, really pretty. I think this is the best view of Big Bear we've seen right here. What'd you What'd you forget now? Do I get a lap? Oh, I know. What'd you forget? Oh, oh, a lap. I thought you were talking about a lap. This is like a bar. You pull up to the bar, soak it in. Oh, your thumb was like in it. <laughs> I was like, almost like, what is this blob? Uh, 
Well, it's four o'clock. It's been three hours since I've checked in here. And um, we had a small emergency. I uh, kind of, if you noticed uh, last couple, two days, couple, three, maybe three days, it's been a little smaller, younger girl with us. Her name's Little P. So we've been, we've seen her for a while and she's been hiking with us pretty regular. And she was at the hostel last night and she went to breakfast with us at the uh, Grizzly Manor, the big pancakes. Anyway, she left the hostel with us today, hiked out, and we got down from lunch and she said, I don't feel good. And I think she's been kind of, I think it's been happening since this morning and she's just tried to tough it out. Uh, finally, she had to say something. So, we were close to, semi-close to a road, kind of a road. <laughs> We got a hold of somebody in Big Bear because we're, uh, we're not far from there, obviously. And um, you know, we needed to stay with her. So we stayed with her until uh, she got to be picked up. She's going back to the hostel. Um, there was somebody else at the hostel, one of our other friends that we've hiked with on and off. Her and her boyfriend, she. Her stomach wasn't feeling good this morning either. So it could have been something in the Big Bear Lake again. Look at that. Um, so maybe they're all eight together. I don't know. Anyway, she wasn't feeling good. She's a little freaked out, a little scared. She's from Germany. And first time in the States, she's on the PCT. She is a very strong hiker. She is fun to be with. She's funny and silly. And um, she's welcome our little gang anytime. But that's changed our day a bit. I'm gonna really have to get in the groove here. I've gotta go at least four and a half. I really need to go about seven. And anyway, I got I need water, so anyway. I don't want to film any of it or <laughs> just because, you know, everybody's okay. I'm okay. A little peas and get back to the hostel. She can be okay. Everything's good. Just some days get a wrinkle or two, and this one I think is all smoothed out. So let's get somewhere for camp. Actually, real quick, one good thing. Derek actually, he stopped at the same place we stopped at lunch. We were all together. He wanted to go a little further film some stuff and he wasn't quite hungry enough yet it didn't matter we're all going to the same place so he probably got there so he's probably happy that's good um shoes stayed with as well so both of us got a little pee down so shoes is just ahead grinding it out I'm back here talking to you guys. We're going hard. Going hard. Try to catch up. We're going to go for the campsite that we were originally going for. But just... Hopefully Derek's there. We can all get back together. He's probably worried. I haven't heard from him. Okay, so we made it to the water. First of all, it's only 5.35. We've been flying. Uh, we ran into some snow. It wasn't anything that you hadn't seen before, but it slows down a little bit. Not too bad, but it had a little bit of time. Uh, we're going to get a little water here. We're almost out. And then, um, there's Shoeless. And then we'll uh, kind of evaluate, but I think we're going to still try and reach for the original campsite. 6.30. We are uh, almost, we saw some tents from up top to the campsite that we ideally wanted to get to. Obviously a hiccup in the day, but we still got here. 
one other tidbit I forgot to mention, Shoeless reminded me, is leaving Big Bear. Our next town's Wrightwood. <laughs> That's five to six days. So we're carrying six days of food on this adventure and little side adventures that we have to go on. <laughs> and that, that's bad. Look at this sweet baby. Look at this good water. I'm going to drink all of this tonight. Oh yeah. Derek is not here. Wow. All right, so we're all set up. The uh, We made it to the campsite. Derek is not here. So I just don't think he got a text from us. So we'll probably see him tomorrow. But um, I did hear from Little P already when I was we were a little bit higher up. She is in the hostel and safe. So everything's good. Um, little thing about her, we've had fun about two or three days we've been with her. Uh, you see her in the videos popping around. But, um, yeah, she's 25. Never, yeah, she hasn't been in the United States. She's from Germany. Um, she uh, Very funny. Yeah, she's a lot of fun and a good hiker. Uh, I think I said that before. Very fast. She packed her bag. She got a ticket, got her passport, got a six-month visa, got to Campo, pointed north, and hit it. 25 years old, alone in the country. That's a straight up badass. Hopefully we'll see her again. If not, uh, everything always happens for a reason. You meet people for a reason. If at the very least, the reason she came across us is so she has some friends to, you know, be safe with and get down the mountain and, you know, get back to the hostel. There's a saying that we have in the United States where we haven't seen our friends in a while. We said we missed their face. It's only been six hours. We already missed a little piece face. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow. We'll go catch Derek. Yeah.